Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In some situations you need a wet map and a wet map is basically a map that leaves some trails behind wet objects like in this example here. So how can we create this? It's actually very easy. In the side view you see that we just have one water object which is actually a cube and this is animated up and down. And as a child of the water object here, we have got a linear field. And the linear field moves up and down according to the surface of the water here. Now there are two things that we need on the sand object here in order to create the effect. First, if we select it, we can already see it a high density. So we need a subdivided mesh here. And the second one is a vertex map. And we can get that by going to select set vertex weight and we will just keep the value at zero and hit ok and now we created a vertex map you can see the vertex map tag here and you can also see that the whole vertex map is red which means that a weight of zero percent is stored all over the vertex map now if we select the vertex map we can check use fields and we will do that by default there is a freeze layer but we can get rid of that and what we will import here instead is the linear field. So just drag and drop it into the fields list. And now you can already see that there is 100% weight beneath the surface of the water represented by the yellow color and that there is still the red color representing 0% weight above sea level. So if we hit play now, you can see that during the animation, the vertex map adjusts accordingly because the linear field is a child of the water object. But how can we create the trails here or the soft fall off when the water goes back? We simply need a decay field here from the modifier layers. You can find it here and if we hit play now you can see that when the water goes back there's already a small trail. So if we want the effect to be a bit stronger just increase the effect strength here and there you go that is the wet map in the vertex map now the last thing we need to do is to assign some shading here to the object based on the vertex map and this can be done by just double clicking that material here and then we jump in and we create a vertex map shader from the effects submenu here we go vertex map and then we open the vertex map shader by clicking it and drag and drop the vertex map into the link field here. Done. If we hit play now, we see that we've got a nice wet map with a nice effect. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.